Greetings from Anthony Lake, the Stark Vacuum Cleaner Museum, the Belmont Goat Field. We're on the set of Graham. It is quintessential Portland. Hey, I'm Boaz, and this is the Pedal Powered Talk Show. It's they were known for their shows that broke the mold. The Pedal Powered Talk Show was modeled after the late night talk shows, except this one on a bike. We love the idea of going to where our guests are rather than having them come to us, and that's something that you could do when it's on a bicycle. The Pedal Powered Talk Show is a talk show on a bike. And you're watching it now. The show took them all over and into some very unique settings. They Not talked really with the cast at Grimm, really even went to the top of the bit. Space Needle. There are a lot of super fun guests. I mean, one that really sticks out to me is we so interviewed Steve, this Abraham Lincoln like portrayer the in the middle of the Oaks Park roller skating rink as wow. kids and were like, practicing roller skating around us. And now here's a llama. They produced over 70 episodes and in 2016, they put the kickstand down for good. Frankel has moved on from the show and now lives in Pittsburgh working on other projects. I think we sort of checked all the boxes of all the stuff we were really excited about doing. Um, so it felt like we'd done all the pedal power talk show could do. The custom steel frame cargo bike will make its final stop at the Oregon Historical Society on Thursday. Frankel and his co-creator Philip Ross are donating the bike to be a part of the society's collection. So now you have a bagpipe that shoots flames as well. One day in the future it'll be involved in some sort of exhibit, you know, a hundred years from now where people can be like, gosh, they were doing some weird things in the 2000s. If you'd like to see the bike before it's turned over to the museum for good, Frankel and Ross will take their bike one last time for a little goodbye tour. It starts at 4.30 on Thursday and they'll circle Portland's waterfront before handing the bike over for good. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.